Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Clickbait. Every time I intro the podcast, he uh, smirks because she's about to laugh. So always Every throwing time. me off. Every time. Uh, but this is going to be an exciting week. We have Bachelor Nation Breakdown. We got a lot of drama going on with um, alum. You have Nick mm. versus Katie. We have some Clayton drama. And then we are bringing on Tino from the new season of The Bachelorette, The Bachelorette premiered. He got the first impression rose from... Rachel. Rachel. And they had a nice little conversation, a romantic kiss. So we're going to talk to him, see how he feels, and we're going to get right into it. So Y'all ready to get messy today? Lord I know. Have mercy. What is going on? Mm-mm. So... Bachelor Nation breakdown. First things first. Um, Bachelorette premiered this week, as Joe said. And there were a lot of comments made about Clayton from the guys that were trying to do like a catchy limo entrance, whatever, talking about Clayton. So Susie and Clayton responded to the Clayton slamming um, via TikTok. But it seemed like they were having fun with it. I mean, if you watch the premiere, you know that it was back to back to back. Like it showed it back to back. Clayton right. slamming. So it did, it felt a little bit cringy, but it, I mean, it seemed like it was in good fun. Well, so here, so here's the thing, right? I tweeted, I think I tweeted like how many times are we going to hear Clayton's name mm-hmm. tonight right before? Only because um, it happens every, almost every season, especially coming from, I was on Becca's season of, of The Bachelorette and what happened between her and Ari. Like, I think half the guys brought up Ari. Like right. it was just a thing. It's, like it's, this, this is your ex. This is what your ex did to you, and mm-hmm. this is gonna be our in to talk to you. And yeah. it, you know, sometimes it's funny, sometimes it's cringy, but I don't think it's meant to like really hurt Clayton. I think it's just more like trying to build themselves up. Well, they and don't, I don't have think a, Clayton anything gives a in shit. common yet. Like you don't, well, they don't have anything in common with these women yet so they're like it's oh, a yeah, conversation like, starter like yeah. yes yeah. yeah they didn't know that a, multiple people would be doing it so they're like oh yeah i'm so original with my clayton sucks song <laughs> i mean that was a full out thing was it alec that had that alec had a, a, a choir of like yeah four teenage looking kids singing yeah. a song about how clayton sucks i mean it was a whole production yeah and so yeah. clayton and Susie did a, a tiktok like <laughs> singing and dancing to this song so that's i mean if they were well, actually it, upset about it i don't think they would have yeah, yeah well they, i'll tell i had dinner with clayton and Susie uh not too long ago um and they just have a i think it was tough for him at the beginning um mm-hmm. and like when the show was airing but they have a really good attitude towards it all and they did exactly what i believe i would have done and they laughed about it Um, And it's like, it's not a big deal to him. Like, not everybody's life revolves around the show. Like, they have moved on. Like, they'll watch it. They'll laugh about it. I mean, Clayton sucks. Like, okay. Like, I get, you know, it's just like, ooh, like, it's not like it's that bad. It's not like, I think Clayton could handle some uh, kids joking around saying that he sucks. Um, Mm -hmm. And he does. And they handled it well. They made fun of it. They made fun of themselves. And I thought they did a really good job. That's what I think. Yeah, I just having him on the podcast, I think he very much owned up to his actions. And I I think it's really important to say that, you know, as a person, Clayton probably doesn't suck. But what he did to Rachel and Gabby, we can all agree, and he agrees as well, sucked. Right? right. So it's like that isol- isolating his season and the things that he did and the way that he navigated it. And he also showed remorse for that. And he's talked about that. So, yeah, that sucked. And it sucked for the whole world to see them treated that way, for sure. But... um. When it comes to when it comes to him and now Susie, I mean, I thought Susie's TikTok was so funny. The keep my wife's name out of your mouth. I thought that was I mean, like I cackled like out loud. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Very, very, very funny. And I um, and before we we move on to the next um, headline, because I think we're going to talk about that a lot. Katie Thurston did tweet like I'm actually not okay. With all the Clay- Clayton slander, Katie's more upset about it than Clayton. Like, why? But did like, Clayton? What? I mean, did Katie tweet about Clayton season? 
because I wonder if she was like, you know, pro women talking about Rachel and Gabby then and like bashing Clayton and now that this is happening because he's, do you know what I mean? Oh, oh yeah. There's, there, there's so- I'm sure there's a history of that with, with her like bashing Clayton. It, yeah. And there's so many past alumni that are just like, I, um, fuck the show. I hate the show. Um, I'm over the show. I'm past the show. Yet I talk about the show all the time and I tweet about the show all the time. So it's like if if you're really over it and you're moved on from it, don't talk about it. Well, but it also seems like maybe there's some projecting going on, like, oh, protect the lead. Like maybe did she not feel protected? Is that why she I feel like she hints at that a lot. She said well, in in reply to her, her her own tweet, she said so much for protecting your lead and their mental health. And I feel like she kind of touches on that a lot in her like referring back to her season. Mm. So so there's oh some projecting God. there because it seems like Clayton's pretty great. Seems like he's right. He's loving she took life it harder right now. than Clayton. Yeah, that seems like he's loving life right now with uh, Susie. I don't know. I think <laughs> I also think what happens um, to a lot of people that become the leads, you know. These are, you know, we're regular people that go on the show. Then you become a lead and it's all about you for however many months. Mm. And then when it's over, you know, it's over. It's mm-hmm. like, <laughs> like you, you, you got, you know, you people you move on. Yeah. Like you got hired, you, you got hired to do, to do a job. You're, te- you are potentially going to fall in love, but you know what you're getting into. It's not like the leads. Like, there's a contract with however many sheets of paper. Like, read it. Like, this is what you're getting into. This is what you're signing up for. Like, it's not brand new when you get off the show. Like, yeah, nobody get like, the producers and all these people, I, they have a job. They're moving on. I do wonder if um, the producers gave a heads up to Clayton. Because I do know that, you know, we do keep in touch with some of the producers, our producers that, you know, my producer from Paradise, like I still talk to her. I just wonder if he got a heads up because sometimes they do do that. I'll give you a heads up like, hey, this is going to be a rough episode or blah, 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 da, 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 like just giving you a heads up. So I wonder if he did know um, that. I mean, there's a, there was so much said about him. I can't imagine a producer not giving him a heads up, being like, hey, by the way, on Monday, yeah. it's going to be kind of. I'm sure, yeah, I'm sure. Like, I, I know I always got heads up. Even when I was on Bachelor, like my, you know, when I had my one on one, like, you know, they it's something that they do. So I'm just curious because the way that he handled it was just so great. And also Susie and, and Clayton could choose not to watch the show. Yeah, yeah. they could. Yeah. Susie, Susie even said she took it harder than Clayton did. Just because she was like, oh, that's my man. But then they made light of it and it was done. my wife's name out of your mouth. Yeah, I mean, in my opinion, the best thing you could do if you're unhappy with the show is move on from it. (laughs) And don't let it don't let it consume you. I mean, the show's on once a week, (laughs) every week. And people talk about it all over the Internet. There's a bunch of podcasts. We have one. Like, if you don't want anything to do with it, (laughs) you know, don't pay attention. That's what I. Right. Speaking but, of, yeah, staying wrapped up in it. Um, we have Nick versus Katie. This whole drama, <laughs> Nick Viall versus Katie Thurston. There's a lot of moving parts here to this story. So, just a little background on this. From what I understand, um, Katie was doing a Q and A on her Instagram, and she started talking about Nick Viall and how he is blocked from her phone, and she forgets that he ever existed as she then went on to talk for like five slides about him yeah, and how and, he very much exists. And that, that, by the way, that's, that's my issue with all of it, but keep going. <laughs> so then from that, Nick and his girlfriend, Natalie responded to that. And apparently there were some texts exchanged between Katie and Nick. I didn't really think the content of the text was just super inappropriate. Um, so I don't know. It kind of lost me there. But there well, no, no, it was, read. it was, yeah, it was, it was a text between Nick and Katie. And then Nick read that text, or um, actually, um, Natalie. Natalie read that text um, just to prove Nick's point about, because I guess Katie's basically saying that, um, or, or whatever, I guess like went after Greg and like, like Greg, you know, knew what he was doing, yet had texted Nick. Pr- saying that she knew at that point him. it was never Greg. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. I personally don't give a shit. <laughs> Which, if we run the tapes back from this podcast, everybody was coming for me, and I said that, and everyone was coming for me, and I was like, she was never going to be with this man. She you're right. Be with you this did. Right. And, yeah, you're right. And I, um, mm. I actually came, I came for you as well. <laughs> that is true. And I was wrong. I was wrong. I just don't like, and, and there's so many people that do it. It's like, Katie's in out here in full transparency. I'm friends with Nick, but Katie's sitting there like Nick's not relevant. I don't give a shit about Nick, but I'm telling all of you that I blocked him and I'm going to talk about him for five fucking story slides. It's like, Mm -hmm. if you don't care about Nick, if Nick's not relevant, then why is his name even coming out of your mouth? Right. Yeah. That was the beginning of the weirdness. And it's all this like being brought up and it's all this like, Oh, I I have all this tea. Like I'm spilling all, all this tea. It's like, yeah. Oh, this was part of the tea, the messy tea fest. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Holy moly. I just wonder why. Yeah. Okay. So there's people in the franchise who don't like Nick because he says his opinion, whatever. But one thing I know Nick too. One thing Nick is not there's you're you have him blocked because he just won't stop texting you or calling you. Yeah. Where? Yeah. I didn't really yeah. understand the yeah. reasoning. Where? The where yeah, it seemed like it was a conversation. <laughs> yeah. Like, and he's that also she was a part of. And the truth is Nick is actually much more relevant like Nick's podcast it does very very well like he has a very very big podcast and he's had he's had some of the biggest guests on that podcast so he actually is pretty relevant and he could talk about bachelor because he has a podcast that's not all about it but part of it is yeah 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 exactly mm-hmm. oh boy I mean I just the whole okay so we had the 12 days of messy we had the this then we had the 12 days of messy then we had just this, you know, she's spilling her tea. And, you know, I love a good cup of tea. Y'all know that. I love a good cup of tea. But you also can't be ready to spill tea, talk shit about people, do this, do that, but then also turn around and talk about mental health. Like what? Like, yeah. do you know oh, what yeah. I mean? Like, tr- like, very true. You're, like you're bashing someone or, or, you know, saying this or saying that in your 12 days of messies, bashing all your guys, saying all ridiculous stuff. But then you're turning around and being like, but worry about me as a lead and my mental health and protecting me as my mental health. It's like, it's a little contradictory. Um, I am here for the tea, but you got to say things with your chest. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's not you even gotta, good tea. Yeah, well, that's the gotta, thing is, is that whatever the fucking tea, I hate saying it, but if the tea's <laughs> relevant, but it's not, the tea's about you. So who, who, nobody also, it doesn't even go, matter. I've done this before on the podcast and I'm going to do it again. The word tea, where it came from, it means truth. Drop the truth, sis. And this whole Slusgate. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, oh, that, yeah. That, speaking that, of, speaking that, of. That's, yeah, that's our what? next our next topic. That a hundred percent is Hannah Ann. That's Hannah Ann. So okay, so, for some context, back yeah, up for a second. Go for for it. some for some context. If you miss this whole Slusgate Hannah Ann ordeal, when Katie was on this rant about having tea, she posted a picture that is damn well Hannah Ann in the back of a golf cart at La yeah. Quinta two freaking years ago, and was like. LOL that you guys all think you know who this is. It's not Hannah Ann. It is Hannah Ann. But and guys. what is the context? Why would she post that? Who yeah. cares? And, th- and I- then I believe I believe Claire jumped in the comments too and was she like, did. Yeah, go for it, sister. Like Well, no, Claire like, said Claire said I was truth. I was ten feet away. I know exactly who that is. Yeah. Well, but I need no, you, you guys to know not. I need you guys to know that or at least for me, just me looking at this picture, and I know both. I know Nicole, and of course, I know Hannah Ann. I, for someone who has not met these people in real life, like I can see why you would think that. Oh, they both have brown hair. They both have a all. I mean, almost similar build. Like they're sit. She's sitting down. You know, I personally was like, I can see how people got this mixed up. Personally, and for context. Hannah Ann was there taking meetings because at the time it was in between potentially Claire and Tasha. It was like that whole mess. And we were also mm-hmm, in mm-hmm. the middle of a pandemic. But why, even if it wasn't Hannah Ann, who Hannah cares? Ann, like, like thing, did, I did, believe did, Hannah Ann. Hannah Ann said, how do y'all know it's not me? Why does uh, Hannah Ann have to lie? Yeah. Yeah. Well, she what? said that was two years ago. Also. Yeah. Yeah, like what? Like what? Like also, but like who? Who put that out? Did like Bachelor? 
the, who put it out the, that the, it was Nicole? Yeah, well, no. What I'm saying is oh. that like the Bachelor franchise released that photo and say like it was an article from Hannah 2020. It, it, it was an yeah. article oh, from 2020. No, no, no. So this is what happened. I remember. So what happened was uh, there were a lot of people that they saw coming out there. Um, I guess people that were hosting dates and all this other stuff that was going on. So they saw a bunch of people. Just like I think they just did that with Paradise this season too. They were like, oh, we just saw this person. We saw yeah, that person. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. Well, Claire, so, this was during the switcheroo too. So people were super speculating at the top. Sure. But they send people out all the time. But Hannah Ann, at the end of the day, why would she lie? She has no reason to lie. And I believe Hannah Ann, so. That's oh, me. yeah. And Katie's just straight up bullshit. I mean, I well, just don't understand well, what like, she was okay, gaining from lying. If you're going to drop some tea, if I say, hey, y'all, I got some tea to drop. I got some I got some tea to drop. It better I be would, true. I yeah. was, well, tea this ain't means tea. truth. Tea, yeah. tea means truth. Um, it would be me firsthand there. It either happened to me. Or I physically talk to this person. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. right. that's the tea. That's like, tea. That's the only way it can be the tea. I can't say, hey, guys, I got some tea about Tia, but I never talked to her about it. And you Googled no. an article about it. <laughs> what? That's fucking weird. But, but let's say, true. let's say, let's say that wasn't Hannah Ann. It's a rumor. And that was, let's say it was Tia. Mm -hmm. What fucking difference does it make? <laughs> No. Like that's what I don't like. I like what it difference is the outcome? There's no doesn't. difference. Uh, there was no uh, point in it being brought up. None. Yeah. <laughs> like when people bring up, like I have tea and I have all this like information about other contestants. Listen, what like, I have tea is actually <laughs> popping hot. Let me tell y'all. Okay. Right. For the record, I was interviewed. Before Claire and Tasha, but that is neither here nor there. See, that yeah. is some tea. That's good. <laughs> That's good. That's some tea. Yeah. I met all the jokers. Thank God. You did you think it was? Did it. you think it was going to be you? Hell, I didn't know. I thought I had a yeah. good chance. They called. So and they were like, of, "We went a different direction." So instead of you, it was Claire, right? Mm. But then, what if they would have switcherooed my ass? I would have been devastated. But so. yeah. would you have really fell for Dale? Probably not. Correct. <laughs> so moral of the story is if you have tea, let it actually be true. <laughs> Hopefully. Yeah. Right. Um, the other thing or say, I think I think this, 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 this. I think not fact because I think it doesn't mean that it's fact. So Katie, you're not going to do that. So, yeah, um, I think we will look forward to more messy. More messy will be coming. <laughs> I mean, it's for entertaining. Sure. That's for damn sure. It gave us something yeah. to talk about. Yeah. Thanks, girl. Um, okay. So I really do want to know, though, your thoughts on the first episode. Oh, I, overall. Uh, <laughs> just give me an overall. Uh, <laughs> Loved it. Hated it. Cringe. I feel like happened? it was kind of corny. Like the corny. dudes overall were kind of corny. I mean, I know mm -hmm. it'll be so much better as time goes on. But limo entrance night is just always corny as hell to me because these dudes just really try to lay it on. Mm -hmm. You know what I you know I, I feel because there was two bachelorettes, mm -hmm. they seemed much more comfortable than mm -hmm. the lead usually is because I think they have that support system of each oh. other. Yeah. So I think the nerves aren't as high. So I think that takes away a, a little bit from the excitement. I don't think that's going to take anything away from the rest of the season. But I I I yeah, like it takes away a little bit of that like excitement. See, and I'm going to say because there's two bachelorettes. So I feel that. But in another way, it's almost like there's a level of um, uncertainty because there's two bachelorettes. So if it's just one, you know, all these men are here for me, period. Like, I am yeah. I am it. And it was so many moments where, you know, Gabby was like, oh, well, we'll both be into the same guy. And Bridget was like, mm -hmm. oh, I hope you're not into the same guy. Oh, I hope she doesn't like it. it's there's so much of that going on. It was even when they were like hugging. It was like I remember one point Rachel went to hug a guy before Gabby. It was like, oh, like, is everybody hugging Gabby first? Is everybody hugging Rachel first? So that to me was a little bit like, <gasps> like even before that, when they walked out and showed each other each other's dresses, I immediately thought if that was me, I would have been comparing everything like, oh, your dress is better than mine or your hair looks better or are people going to think she looks better? I mean, my mind immediately would have gone to like comparison mode and it would have messed with yes. me. Yes. Well, I think Women that, do that in every, se every I think every season um, there is some sort of rejection towards the lead from 
you know, one or, or two contestants towards the end where somebody's like, I'm just not as into you. But like now being that there's two of them, you're pro- we're probably going to see that much sooner. Well, we are going to see that much sooner because it's in the, the teaser yeah. of like, it looks like Rachel gets rejected and it looks like Gabby, where Gabby gets rejected because that person's there for vice uh-huh. versa. Um, yeah. So definitely be seeing that. I did, but then also there was those cute moments where the people were literally, the, the certain guys were like, I'm here for you. Mm-hmm. I want to be with you. So that was also really nice. And I think they both got that. So, um, yeah, my, yeah, that was it. That, that was great. I loved it. All right. This was in the Bachelor Nation Breakdown Rundown. And we got to talk about it because our very own Tia is having a baby boy. I am. We're so excited too. Taylor's here with me. That's why I say we. I he's look, look at how here. excited he, he no. looks. <laughs> and <laughs> yeah, we kind of all knew he it was a boy, us. right? And he's got this little, he's been wearing uh-uh. his little boy dad uh-uh. hat. Uh-uh. Isn't that uh-uh. so cute? Uh-uh. Yeah, we honestly have felt like it was a boy the whole time. It's very yeah. strange. I feel like a lot of people can feel like it's one or the other and some people just can't. And we were like, it's got to be a boy. There's no way it's not a boy. Yeah. And it's just like a special little, little angel surprise from my dad. Yeah, it's it's nice. kind of like we we talked about that, right? Yeah. So, so did you decide? Do you, wait, do you know the name yet? We don't know the name yet. No, we haven't decided for sure yet. Okay, we'll see. Names. Okay. It's so hard to pick a name. No, we decided. And like a first name and a middle name. Not a middle name though. First. Taylor said, "Yeah, we already decided." I'm like, "No, we haven't." Well, what for does sure he decided. think it's gonna be? Yeah, what, what do you think, think it's gonna be? be? The first name. Yeah. No, middle. I'm talking about both. He doesn't know. <laughs> he was like, oh. See, that's that's what's problematic about dropping tea when you don't know what the fuck you're talking right, about. Right, exactly. Okay? <laughs> we, we really like a, a tea name, though, so we'll all be TN. Taylor, Tia, and Thomas. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> How about, um, man, I'd love to think of it. What about Theodore? Theo? Theodore and Colin Theo. Teddy. Teddy, yeah. Teddy yeah. Bach. Cute. I like Teddy for a girl. Teddy Bach. Actually, so we'll Teddy to, Bach is cute. We'll have to save Teddy. No, Tyler. Okay. Tyler Bach is like an all star. He's Who's like Bach? He's, Who's Tyler Bach? No, I'm just saying, like, he's your baby. I don't know. Oh, Tyler. Mark. His last Mark, name's Mark. 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 Oh, sorry. Sorry. I said Bach. Sorry. Mark. <laughs> Who's Tyler Bach? Bach? She's like, Tyler Mark. Bach is a superstar. Yeah. <laughs> no, no. Uh, Tyler Mock. What about that's a superstar? Oh, we're gonna start really annoying Going our listeners by just keep throwing out names. What about Trevor? Trevor? He said Trevor. His one of his best friends is in California is Trevor, and he would love for us to use Trevor. He would love that probably. Okay, Trevor. Mm, Trevor. No. I know. Okay. We we have a name we like. I just don't want to say it because I don't want anyone to use it. And we haven't oh, said it. I got right. You know no, what I you actually got. I got. I got the perfect name. And what? this just, you, I might as well bring this guy on right now because it is time <laughs> for our guest. His name begins with a T. Um, his name is Tino. You pro- If you watched the first episode of The Bachelorette, he pulled up on a forklift. He got the first impression rose from Rachel. They had probably the most romantic connection. Uh, everyone, please welcome Tino to the podcast. Tino, what's up? Welcome to the podcast. How are you? I'm good. Thanks for having me. All right. So last night was the premiere. But before we get into that, you look great, by the way. But before we get into that, let's talk about um, did you know about the show? Were you a fan of the show? How did you get on it? Uh, Yeah. So I was a fan of the show maybe like four or five years ago when uh, Hannah Brown was the lead because there was a guy in construction who went pretty deep. So I was rooting him on. (laughs) <laughs> and after that, I was pretty heartbroken when he didn't win. So I, I took a little hiatus from the show. And now I'm back. Invested. I got involved with the show because I got reached out to. And, you know, I was just looking for the right things. And it seemed like a spectacular way to maybe meet the uh, love of my life. So a producer right, so wh- found you? Someone yeah, like reached say. out to you? Yeah, they uh, DM'd me on Instagram, which was kind of funny because I had a or I still probably, res- with respect to you guys, have like a pretty lacking following. So the it was like, like when I first got the DM, I was like, is this real? And I Googled her name and I was like, oh, it is cool. Let's do this. All right, people, mm-hmm. check your DMs because you never know. You might yeah. get an offer yeah. to be on the show. Yeah. Yeah. So did you watch Clayton's season of The Bachelor? No. 
No, I they they reached out to me when it was airing, and um, I thought about watching a couple episodes, but then it would just get kind of uncomfortable because, um, like, I didn't know who the girl was going to be, and it just was. I didn't want to go in with any preconceived notions, and I just, you know, I I don't think I really needed to like watch him and the girls like kiss a bunch or anything like that. So. <laughs> didn't yeah, sound no, like fun. No, that, that, make, that, make, that makes sense. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. So, it's like self-inflicted wound at that point. So what did you how did you prepare um how did you prepare for leaving for the show? And did you know before you left it was gonna be two women instead of one? Uh I knew when America knew. So when they sent me the contract and said, like, hey, you're pretty much in, uh I didn't. Um I had like no idea who it was going to be at that point because the three still were seemingly like all having an amazing connection and looked like they could have won. Um, and yeah, so I just, the weird thing is uh, work actually kind of slowed down at the same time too. So the timing just worked out perfectly with that. Got it. Got it. Mm -hmm. So what, so when you found out with America, that it was Gabby and Rachel, what did you think? What was your first thoughts? Um, well, I mean, like, positively, I thought, okay, cool. Like, there's double the chances that, <laughs> you know, I have a connection here because if it's just one and it's not the right one, you're out of luck, even if it's night one. You know, yep. you could be the most amazing dude ever, but if it's just not connecting, you're heading home. Uh, but, like... On the flip side of it, I didn't really know how to feel about it in the sense that, like, there was no blueprint. I didn't know what to expect. It was kind of like, oh, man, I'm, like, I'm getting thrown into, like, uncharted waters. So that was the only intimidating thing about it. Got it. All right. So let's talk about let's talk about night one. You pull up in a forklift. Was that your idea? <laughs> um, that was your intro. <laughs> Tell us about that. Yeah. I mean, so... I told um, the people who like work with us to make our entrances that like I wanted to go big. I didn't want to walk out of that limo and just say, hi, I'm Tina. I'll see you inside. I wanted to do something cool. Um, so they shot me down on like coming in on an elephant, coming in on a helicopter, <laughs> learning how to ride a motorcycle and coming in on a motorcycle. So you we were going to learn how to ride it. <laughs> well, I've been meaning to for a while. So it would have knocked Perfect out two birds with one stone. Perfect Maybe they would have... Uh, Maybe they would have expensed it too. <laughs> I could have been extra cheap, but um, yeah. So um, we ended up on the construction thing and my idea was like, oh, we could get a crane, which, you know, for those not in the industry would have been ex insanely expensive and a ton of insurance and crane me in. So when that, you know, failed at the door, we said forklift and I said, okay, perfect. I can work with that. Mm -hmm. That It was really, it was really cool. And when you got off the forklift, you say your line. Uh, did you know who you were going to hug first or did you just in the moment? Was it in the moment? Oh, totally in the moment. Yeah. Oh, wow. Because I'm yeah. at, watching it, watching it as a viewer. I'm like at, watching everyone. I'm like, did he know he's going to do that? Was he going to do it? Like, right. Because Rachel was like standing closer to the cars, I think. Who did you hug yeah. first? Do you remember? Gabby was. I, I thought Rachel Gabby first. was. You hugged Rachel Gabby. first? Yes, yeah, because yeah, it almost seemed like, and I could be wrong, but it seemed like Rachel went in for the hug. Oh. Right? I'd it have to like watch it back. I don't know. It, it seemed I'd like, like Rachel, to take credit that uh, I made the first move on that one. It, it seemed, <laughs> it like, seemed yeah, like, I knew. unless there's video evidence of something else, I'm going to take it credit. It seemed like that. Rachel there called was one uh, person, dibs pretty quick. There on was Tino. one person that I do remember that she opened up her arms first, and maybe it was you. Maybe it was you because I just watched it. Um, well, we all just watched it, but I, there was Let's one person. Me. Yeah, there was one person that it was like, oh, <laughs> so yeah, um, that is interesting. Did you guys talk about that, like the the guys? Because as a viewer, I'm like, are the guys talking? Is that all you're talking about? Is who who do you like? Who do you think? Who was that? The conversation when you were inside the house. Um. Yeah, I mean, like most of the time the first night, actually, everyone was just really concerned about getting time with, like, I think everyone wanted time with both. Everyone thought both were stunning, which they are. So that wasn't really like 
I don't know how many people actually came in that was like heavily leaning or just, I'm only here for you. I think a lot of the attitudes were just like, oh, I hope one connects with me and I hope yeah. I get time with at least one tonight. And enough so that like, if it's not the connection, I make enough of an, of an impression that I get the chance with maybe the other. Mm -hmm. Did you get to talk to Gabby too, or just Rachel? Not the first night, just Rachel. Okay. Okay. And, okay. Oh, go ahead. Now, so out of the guys, like, were you, did you like anybody at the beginning? Were you like, okay, this is going to be like my buddy on the show? Or was it just all straight competitiveness? No, I mean, actually, everyone was really cool and nice. Uh, I think the first person I talked to was Tremaine, and he was really calming, really, he seemed super comfortable. So it was great talking to him. I talked to Nate a fair amount the first night, and I think the world innate. So that was, that was cool. So it was just, it was really great. Like that. It wasn't super egotistical or like overly cutthroat right from the start. Um, mm -hmm. It actually felt to me like a little bit more genuine that way where like everyone was there with like an open mindset rather than like thinking of it as a game to win. Yes. Yeah. What about, so can you give us some insight they cancel the rose ceremony in this last episode that we saw. How many people actually didn't talk to either of them? Um, honestly, I don't remember, but I feel like it was enough that the room was really tense. Like more so, than 10? I don't know. I mean, we started with 30, so that's like yeah. one out of every three didn't get to talk. I mean, that sounds like a lot, but I don't know. <laughs> I'd have to, I'd have to like shoot a text out and say hey who remembers yeah, if they talked to him the first night <laughs> yeah because i i remember during bachelor and i don't know if t if you remember like maybe three people didn't talk to yeah, the bachelor it's not that very night many. it wasn't that many it was like maybe three and you know a few of those people who didn't get to talk to him still stayed but for it for them to cancel it i'm like it had to be a, a big number right yeah well there's two women too so they got to film both women there's a lot more that goes into it now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> it's just coming from, you know, th yeah, I mean, because I kept hearing Rachel say, uh, this is the most guys ever. I want to be like, well, Rachel, there's two of you. So, of course, you're gonna, <laughs> of course there's going to be the most guys ever. Um, all right. So let's go to the good part. Uh, you're you're making out with Rachel on the stairs. Um, no, before that, when you when uh, you, you decide set it up. when you decide to go to the stairs, was that yeah. your thing that you were just like, I know she had this thing happened, or were you just like, because sometimes the producers will tell you you only have this area, figure it out, right, <laughs> right. Y'all were yeah. kind of so did you like specifically request too. that you wanted to take her to stairs? Uh, very proudly, that was actually all my idea because I saw like the memes and stuff, and then like watched a little YouTube clip of that rose ceremony. And I was just like, I had a feeling since the way it all went down with them that like, maybe there was going to be like a lot of like negativity towards their last experience. And I thought like, okay, well maybe like we kind of have some fun with like something that maybe like, you know, like we're, we're going to own that experience and like make it now like a really beautiful, amazing one. And like, thank God that conversation went well, or else she would have had like two traumatic experiences on the <laughs> stairs. Yes. But, no, I uh, love that. I love yeah, that you know, like, I mean, that's kind of, that's kind of how I came into like the whole experience in itself. I was like, okay, I'm really scared, but, you know, let's just tackle it. Let's, let's, you know, do, um, tackle like the, the hardest thing first. And that was a big entrance. And then it was, uh, for her, I think like somebody putting a positive spin on something last season. Have yeah. you, um, do you usually ask, a woman before you kiss them like for the before the first kiss like would you if if you weren't on camera would you just went in for the kiss but you're like oh shit i gotta i gotta make sure yeah no, i always ask okay all right and what do you think about that joe what do you mean what do i think about that i think that's fine i mean, i, I did you I, ask um, serena no did i just you? went in for it <laughs> <laughs> That's what I wanted to know, Tia. That's what I wanted to know. Well, I'm taking a shot. I'm going all in. See if she pushes, punches me in the face. She didn't, though. 
<laughs> we actually got engaged, so it fucking worked. It worked, yeah. Um, gotta love that. Um, yeah, so, okay. maybe Tino's engaged right now. Maybe it worked for him too. <laughs> okay, so then first impression rose. Both of them get dropped, and it's a big thing. Everybody wants it because you know it secures you a spot next week. Everybody's looking at you like you're the guy. You get the first impression, Rose. How did you feel about that? Uh, it was great. I mean, I, you know, I had an amazing conversation with her. And it was just like, the, from the second, like, I took her hands um, when I did, I, like, you know, take her from having time with somebody else. Like, it just, it felt so comfortable. And it was so easy to talk to her. So it was really nice getting that reassurance because it really validated or not validated, but really like attested to like the connection I saw and had so much faith in actually being reciprocated. Um, you know, like when you're, when you're in that early, yeah. you don't know yeah. if like everybody's conversation is going like amazingly. So getting that rose was like a huge moment for me. Cause like, I was just like, so taken back by like how amazingly comfortable she made me feel like, actually seeing her in person i mean she's like beyond breathtaking so it was just like firing on like all cylinders of, of like how excited you could get like we're just on top of the world you came across very confident you looked great and you got the first mm -hmm. impression rose so mm -hmm. um did watching it back last night did anything surprise you that you saw either with the guys or with the girls or just anything were you like oh i didn't know that happened um, I, uh, I didn't know Eric talked to both girls. Oh, yeah. Um, that made me nervous a little bit. I was like, is he yeah. going to kiss both of them? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And yeah. So I think that was one surprising thing. I think the other surprising thing, like just about watching myself back is like, you know, if you have already kissed the girl and she's giving you an early rose you're probably safe to like lean in a little bit quicker than i did because i was just nervous yeah. and all that so um yeah i think that was like something i was like a little embarrassed about. i was like come on you know like can she make it more obvious <laughs> was there anybody in the house that rubbed you the wrong way oh definitely First day? not no oh that's a, you that's... know what jacob yeah. did he made me feel insecure about my body Jacob is the eh. one who was shirtless, right? Yeah, oh, Jacob, okay. shirtless come on, guy. man. <laughs> yeah, he he actually <laughs> seems he actually seems like a um, just like a really uh, like a nice guy, like a, a good he time. He actually is, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. When I saw that list come out, I said, "Oh Lord." <laughs> I was a little, I was a little afraid, oh, but the things yes. on it was was were, were they were okay, they were okay. But I was a little worried, like, uh oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, had a, had a straightforward game plan. All right. So is there anything you could tell us um, that isn't spoiling too much about what we're about to see? Um, yeah. I mean, it's it's going to be very unpredictable. It's going to be really exciting. But, yeah, I mean, like, it for my duration, it, it kept me guessing almost all the time. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I saw you hmm. in the teaser a lot too. I noticed you in the teaser a lot. <laughs> For the next Our, the next no episode. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, let's do this. We're going to play a game. It is rapid fire and it's just to let the listeners get to know you a little better. So first thing that comes to mind, okay? Okay. As a child, your dream job was general contractor. <laughs> wow. Do you have any pets? No. Go to pizza order. Uh probably meat lovers. Current screen the current screensaver on your phone. Oh, my parents' dog. Aww. Aww. <laughs> so cute. Uh yeah, do you have any best. hidden talents? Um I can blow really good bubbles. Like with gum? <laughs> no, like, like, if you I was have, like, what's like, this guy like about to say right now? <laughs> like, the bubbles where, like, you dip the straw in and then, like, oh, yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Pretty good. Okay. Okay, sick. 
I we want to see that. Make a TikTok. Make a TikTok of that. <laughs> um, what's your favorite curse word? Maybe you'll see it eventually. Oh, sorry. What were you saying? What, what is your favorite, favorite curse word? Oh, uh, probably. Nice. Everybody. Yeah, so so you're... That, yeah. In construction, that's like every every couple words. So. <laughs> yeah. What is your sign? Uh, I've been told I'm an Aquarius. My birthday's on Valentine's Day. Yes, you are an Aquarius. That is also my ex boyfriend's birthday. I, I get that a lot too. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, what Usually is I your get a, I get a like, ooh, Aquarius. And I'm like, really? No, no, no. Actually, Aquarius are great. They're really great. Alicia Keys is an Aquarius. Um, great. Uh, your signature cocktail. Beer. <laughs> I, like wine. I love beer. I don't like that. <laughs> yeah. Um, Scotch on the rocks. Got it. Go to karaoke song. Sweet Caroline. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, it gets the crowd involved for sure. One place you'd love to visit one day. Oh, that's tough. Maybe like the southernmost tip of Argentina, I think would be really cool. Go to the end of the world. Mm, nice. Hmm. Um, also, Montauk is called the end of the world, by the way. <laughs> so <laughs> yeah, you can always thing. go there. Same, same yeah, thing. same thing. <laughs> um, your, what is something that is on your bucket list that you want to do? I think, wow, that's like a, that's a tough question because there's like plenty of stuff. Um, get married. Oh, oh that's a different maybe one. that will happen soon. Try my best, you know. <laughs> I, they all yes. say like the best way to go about that is the bachelorette. So I'm, I'm making the right <laughs> stride. Oh, I never heard You're that. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Last one. Give us one word to describe the rest of Gabby and Rachel's season. Amazing. Oh, mm. okay. Okay. You got all right. me all confused on how the rest of this is going yeah. to go. I know. I, I know. I, I, I think I know, but mm. we'll You think see. you know, Joe? I do. I do. Mm. Um, Joe, but Tino, thank you. Uh, yeah, thank you so later. much for coming on. Uh, we really appreciate you. You did a great yes. job. Um, thank you. Thanks Thank for having you. Me. This was super fun. Okay, so Tino, great guy. <laughs> that was fun. Interesting um, episode this week. So yeah, I, I think we're good. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing forking great. You're doing forking gorgeous, baby. <laughs> You're doing forking great, sweetie. That's what it is. You're doing forking. You look forking gorgeous. You look forking oh. gorgeous. Look at my forklift. All right, for our <laughs> listeners, just so you guys know, I did used to drive a forklift. Um, <laughs> I almost, I almost freaking put one right through a fucking semi once. Um, oh, shit. Yeah, Damn. yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're um, not easy to drive, if that's what we're saying? No, and I've tipped over a whole pallet of watermelon before. Not oh, good. Oh, did they all bust? Yeah. The yeah, cleanup yeah. crew did yeah. not like you. No. Mm -hmm. Oh, I was the cleanup crew, too. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't like myself. Oh, honey, we got it. So mm. Please. Keep them humble, please guys. Keep the, them humble. Please let me get on The Bachelor. All righty. Thank you so much to our listeners, and thank you to Tino for being here with us. And make sure to catch new episodes of The Bachelorettes every Monday on ABC or Hulu. Yes, and as always, make sure to subscribe, submit all the questions, everything you want us to get into next week. We want to hear your thoughts. Make sure to follow us at ClickbaitBN on Instagram, all the links, all our socials. I say it every week. They're all there. Check it out. Boom. And share your stories with us. We want to know what clickbait you're looking at this week. Clickbait is available on Apple Podcasts, Amazon Music, or wherever you're listening. You can also listen ad-free by subscribing to Wondery Plus in Apple Podcasts or the Wondery app. We will see you guys next week.